Yo, this is Anthony, coming to you live from the Pezzo Garage. What's up? Yeah, we got Arizona this week. You're coming into my hood. You're coming into our town, Cardinals. You're coming into our town. And you think you're going to do something? Do you remember mm, week three? We went into your town. And if it wasn't for the fucking refs fucking us over, you guys would have had a freaking loss handed to your ass in your town. You guys can't fucking beat us. You you don't got what it takes to beat us. We are the real deal. We have the best core players in football today. You hear me? You're coming in. You're going down. Yeah, we've struggled recently. We've had problems. We've hit speed bumps. We've lost the teams that we shouldn't have lost to. I don't give a fuck. I know what my guys could do. I know what this team could do. And for the love of God, Jed York, stop letting fucking Roman call our offensive plays. What was that shit last week? She should fucking feel embarrassed. A 21-point lead. A running back that's averaging over 10 yards per carry. And what do you do in the second half? You pass the fucking ball. He's the dumbest motherfucking coach that I've ever lived to watch. I'm 39 years old. I've watched a lot of coaches come and go throughout the whole league, okay? Just not with the Niners. But there was a lot from that time period with the Niners, okay? After George Seifert, it was just like we were going through coaches like water. And you got to be the stupidest fucking coach that I've ever met. I mean, come on, dude. You blow a 21-point fucking lead at home because you forget that your running back was putting up mad-ass yards and he couldn't be stopped? Just go away, please. Go fucking coach for some other team. Go be their head coach. Feel important because you got a head coaching job. And destroy those fucking guys because you don't belong with the red and gold. You don't deserve to have red and gold on your head, on your fucking shirt, in your ass. You don't even deserve to have it as toilet paper. You don't deserve this team at all. Not even close. Now listen to me. I asked the faithful fans out there two weeks ago, last week's game, to go in there. And chant out, re-sign Harbaugh, re-sign Harbaugh. What did I hear? Oh, gods. I didn't hear shit. Nothing. Come on, people. You know what we got. You know what we need. You know what it's going to take to be the dynasty that we have all the other tools to be. Besides an offensive coordinator. Okay? And maybe a lineman here and there. Whatever. Okay? But we're right there. But it starts with our head coach. Harbaugh came in and turned this franchise around. The last time we went through an egotistical move to get rid of a head coach was Terry Donahue's ass. Firing Steve Mariucci. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Wasn't the best head coach in the history of the Niners. But by far, by God, wasn't the worst. He was a decent, above average coach. They could have won with the right tools without T.O. throwing tantrums. And, you know, I won't even get into that. It's a different story. The bottom line is, is Terry Donahue fired him. And you know what? We didn't see the playoffs since, okay? Until Harbaugh came in. We went through three dumb-ass head coaches, quarterbacks after quarterbacks, okay? Personnel after personnel. Couldn't win. We're shit. Playoffs, it was hard for us to win eight games. I don't want to live through that again. This right here with Harbaugh is an egotistical move, and that's all it is. Egos. Jed York's egos. Trent Belke's ego. Put those egos at the door. Football don't have room for egos. You want to be a winning football team? You don't have fucking ownership ego problems. And general manager ego problems. You let your head coach do what he does. And that's win games. That's it. He wins games. You give Harbaugh the reins, he's winning games. We're going to see greatness. This is a dynasty in the making. In the making. We have the tools. People, stand up. Stand up and chant. 
Resign Harbaugh. Resign Harbaugh. This is your last chance. This is it. After this game, the season's over. It's done with. If he makes an egotistical move, you can blame yourselves. Because I'm doing everything I possibly can from Illinois. Okay? Tweeting Jed York two to four times a day. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Eve. I won't relent. I'm telling him my opinion. I've got San Francisco radio stations retweeting my tweets. I'm trying to cause a ruckus. Help me, people. Please help me. Do the right thing. Stand up and chant and send your tweets. That's it. Let's go in. Let's go into Santa Clara to Levi Stadium and smack these Cardinals in the teeth and end this season on a high note. Pezzo out.